So, I've spent about a week now using Elementary OS as my primary operating system. I chose to hold back on a full review until I'd spent a bit more time with it in the real world using it to actually be productive and get some things done. I want to start the review by saying I'm not as enamoured with the look and feel of Elementary as a lot of other people are. But I'm going to start the review here. Yes, the default look and feel is consistent and very polished out of the box. Even down to the redesign login stream, nothing looks as though it doesn't belong. I did however notice that the elementary dark theme didn't take effect in all of the default applications that elementary comes installed with. But me being me, I never really keep the default look and feel of the distribution I use anyway, which brings me to the user customizations. For me elementary OS falls short here, I understand that they ship a product with a look and feel that they want us to use, but the whole reason I choose to use Linux is that I get to make that choice myself. The tweak package to enable you to change themes wasn't in the default repo and had to be installed using a PPA. Once you have downloaded some themes, getting them to work and look correctly takes a bit of extra effort. I manually had to set the wing panel colours to fit with the Arc theme colour palette and also had to edit a line or two in the icons configurations to inherit the icons for the wing panel from elementary because the custom icons were just too blown out and oversized. I also had to manually set transparency levels for the wing panel as I don't like it completely transparent when no window is maximised, despite which wallpaper I have. That's kind of the bad, so that everything else is pretty much good. So it's built on top of a stable Ubuntu release, so you shouldn't have trouble finding and installing the packages you use. A crowning feature of elementary OS is its app centre. It's fast and provides a good graphical user interface to browse and install new software. I also endorse the pay what you want way of thinking that enables developers to get a bit of money for the hard work that they do. Alternatively you can still manage your packages with the terminal using apt. Some packages aren't as up to date as I would like, for example the GIMP version is 2.8 as I said before because it's the stable repos from Ubuntu. Elementary now also comes with support for flatback applications. The way they have implemented this is with a feature called side loading. As you can see on the screen here, I can simply go to say flat hub and with a couple of clicks elementary will side load the flat pack and we are good to go. I ended up installing Caden Live this way as the flat pack is more up to date and handles the theming of Caden Live better in elementary. The programs installed out of the box will get you up and running, but if you're like me you'll find yourself installing some more full featured alternatives for say the mail application like Evolution or Thunderbird. The file manager I have no complaints with is a simple tabbed interface that fits with the overall operating system's theming and looks nicely so I see no need to replace it. Elementary doesn't ship with an office suite which is a decision I support but find bizarre coming from them at the same time. I would have thought Elementary would have at least included a word processor for that ready to go out of the box feeling. But I like the fact that they chose not to include it as it allowed me to make my choice and I went ahead and installed LibreOffice. Performance wise everything behaves as you would expect from an Ubuntu based distribution. I was able to edit a few videos and images with Caden Live and Gimp, play some casual games on Steam, catch up with my emails from work, browse the web and consume media without a problem. Startup time was quick however I did notice on a few occasions some times where it would take quite a while to shut down. Updating in the App Center is easy and pain free as you can see on the screen it's a simple process of opening the App Center, navigating to installed and clicking update all. After a password prompt away it goes. The Pantheon desktop environment can also be a joy to use but at times feels a little lacking and just falls short of what I look for in a desktop environment in so far as the user's ability to customise and tweak it to their desire. It looks nice and elegantly handles notifications and clicking the notification bell exposes an enable or disable checkbox for do not disturb when you're trying to concentrate on something that you don't need distractions. It's light on resources and doesn't consume a massive amount of memory and is snappy to use. All in all I think it's a very solid distribution built on top of a very sturdy base that will get a new user up and running with ease. They clearly have a knife for detail and it's a very good looking distribution the moment you start it up. It doesn't struggle with most of your daily tasks and for the most part will get out of your way and look pretty while doing it. Where I think it falls short is that it just assumes too much of a user's decision. Part of me feels this is a conscious decision to secure that it just works paradigm and for many users and fans out there it does. So I applaud the work the guys at Elementary OS do and would happily recommend the distribution to new users just getting their feet wet with Linux or someone who's not really too into computers and just wants it to work and look good while doing it. 
I always enjoy the time I spend in elementary, but for me it feels more like a holiday destination than it does my home. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.